Bituminous materials. Bitumen is the residue or byproduct when the crude petroleum is refined. A wide variety of refinery processes such as the straight distillation process, solvent extraction process etc. may be used to produce bitumen of different consistency and other desirable properties. Depending on the sources and characteristics of the crude oils and on the properties of bitumen required, more than one processing method may be employed. Different forms of bitumen. 1. Cutback bitumen. Normal practice is to heat bitumen to reduce its viscosity. In some situations preference is given to use liquid binders such as cutback bitumen. In cutback bitumen suitable solvent is used to lower the viscosity of the bitumen. From the environmental point of view also cutback bitumen is preferred. The solvent from the bituminous material will evaporate and the bitumen will bind the aggregate. Cutback bitumen is used for cold weather bituminous road construction and maintenance. The distillates used for preparation of cutback bitumen are naphtha, kerosene, diesel oil and furnace oil. There are different types of cutback bitumen like rapid curing RC, medium curing MC and slow curing SC. RC is recommended for surface dressing and patchwork. MC is recommended for premix with less quantity of fine aggregates. SC is used for premix with appreciable quantity of fine aggregates. 2. Bitumen Emulsion Bitumen emulsion is a liquid product in which bitumen is suspended in a finely divided condition in an aqueous medium and stabilized by suitable material. Normally cationic type emulsions are used in India. The bitumen content in the emulsion is around 60% and the remaining is water. When the emulsion is applied on the road it breaks down resulting in release of water and the mix starts to set. The time of setting depends upon the grade of bitumen. The viscosity of bituminous emulsions can be measured as per is 8887-1995. Three types of bituminous emulsions are available, which are rapid setting, RS, medium setting, MS, and slow setting, SC. Bitumen emulsions are ideal binders for hill road construction, where heating of bitumen or aggregates are difficult. Rapid setting emulsions are used for surface dressing work. Medium setting emulsions are preferred for premix jobs and patch repairs work. Slow setting emulsions are preferred in rainy season. 3. Bituminous primers. In bituminous primer the distillate is absorbed by the road surface on which it is spread. The absorption therefore depends on the porosity of the surface. Bitumen primers are useful on the stabilized surfaces and water bound macadam base courses. Bituminous primers are generally prepared on road sites by mixing penetration bitumen with petroleum distillate. 4. Modified bitumen. Certain additives or blend of additives called as bitumen modifiers can improve properties of bitumen and bituminous mixes. Bitumen treated with these modifiers is known as modified bitumen. Polymer modified bitumen, PMB, crumb rubber modified bitumen, CRMB, should be used only in wearing coats depending upon the requirements of extreme climatic variations. The detailed specifications for modified bitumen have been issued by IRC SP 53-1999. It must be noted that the performance of PMB and CRMB is dependent on strict control on temperature during construction. Tests on bitumen. There are a number of tests to assess the properties of bituminous materials. The following tests are usually conducted to evaluate different properties of bituminous materials. 1. Penetration test. It measures the hardness or softness of bitumen by measuring the depth in tenths of a millimeter to which a standard loaded needle will penetrate vertically in 5 seconds. A grade of 40 50 ths bitumen means the penetration value is in the range 40 to 50 at standard test conditions. In hot climates, a lower penetration grade is preferred. 2. Ductility test. Ductility is the property of bitumen that permits it to undergo great deformation or elongation. A minimum ductility value of 75 centimeters has been specified by the BIS. 3. Softening point test. Softening point denotes the temperature at which the bitumen attains a particular degree of softening under the specifications of test. The test is conducted by using ring and ball apparatus. 4. Specific gravity test. The specific gravity of bitumen is defined as the ratio of mass of given volume of bitumen of known content to the mass of equal volume of water at 27 OC. The specific gravity can be measured using either personometer or preparing a cube specimen of bitumen in semi-solid or solid state.
the specific gravity of bitumen varies from 0.97 to 1.02. 5. Viscosity test. Viscosity denotes the fluid property of bituminous material and it is a measure of resistance to flow. At the application temperature, this characteristic greatly influences the strength of resulting paving mixes. Low or high viscosity during compaction or mixing has been observed to result in lower stability values. At high viscosity, it resists the compact of effort and thereby resulting mix is heterogeneous, hence low stability values. 6. Flash and Fire Point Test BIS defined the flash point as the temperature at which the vapor of bitumen momentarily catches fire in the form of flash under specified test conditions. The fire point is defined as the lowest temperature under specified test conditions at which the bituminous material gets ignited and burns. 7. Float test. Normally the consistency of bituminous material can be measured either by penetration test or viscosity test. But for certain range of consistencies, these tests are not applicable and float test is used. 8. Water content test. It is desirable that the bitumen contains minimum water content to prevent foaming of the bitumen when it is heated above the boiling point of water. The allowable maximum water content should not be more than 0.2% by weight. 9. Loss on heating test. When the bitumen is heated it loses the volatility and gets hardened. Bitumen used in pavement mixes should not indicate more than 1% loss in weight, but for bitumen having penetration values 150 to 200 up to 2% loss in weight is allowed. Thank you.